what's up guys welcome back to the channel um today we're gonna do a little diy for you guys and uh we'll see what it is all right so today we are gonna go ahead and replace the spark plugs on my 2.7 liter four cylinder 2007 Toyota tacoma and um yeah i'll show you what you need and how to get there all right so a couple things you're gonna need is a three eight three eight inch drive ratchet um size 10 mini 10 millimeter socket spark plug socket spark plug sockets come in various sizes this one is a 5 8 or 16 millimeter socket spark plug socket um a extension for your ratchet um at least a six inch would be good but i prefer my this is a nine 12 inch nine inch uh extension an electric ratchet just to for my comfort and um a pair of pliers and i'll show you why in a little bit for the 2007 or at least the 2005 to 2011 2.7 liter tacoma or any of the tacomas that come in that engine size and then i got my spark plugs right here uh, i decided to go with ngk iridiums and um yeah so roughly I got the truck at about 48,000 miles. It's a 2007 and roughly you're supposed to, or generally you're supposed to replace your spark plugs every 20 to 40,000 miles. So the truck is currently right now at 53. I haven't pulled out the spark plugs yet. So we'll find out how the condition of the spark plugs are. Let's find out. All right, so to get to the spark plugs itself, you're gonna have to remove this uh, I guess intake part of the intake uh, system. We're gonna disconnect it from here from the throttle body, disconnect it from here that goes to the filter box, disconnect the mounting point here and here. And the pair of pliers is for the hose that's back here. You need to disconnect that. Take off the sensor here, which is I'm not too sure which sensor this is, but uh, we need to disconnect that out. And then, um, then we'll get to the spark, the ignition coils. Disconnect it, you can see one of it here. The other three are covered by this intake box. We're gonna disconnect this connector, remove that size 10 there, pull out the ignition coil, and then remove the spark plugs. So the little box is off. I actually needed to get a pick so I can pry this clip off. I was being a little bit stubborn for a lot of the ignition coils, just so I don't end up snapping the connector, which I have a tendency to do. And I'm trying to save the connector as this is my daily. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention that you gotta take off this hose, which plugs into to this little portion here. It's the vacuum hose for the fuel pressure. Um, and then that's basically it. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the ignition coils and get to the spark plugs. All right, so the spark plugs are out. As you can see, cylinder one, two, three, and four. They look pretty in good condition so that means the motor is pretty healthy um while removing the spark plugs I actually found out that the valve cover is showing signs of leaking as you can see and I actually can tell when I'm driving can smell it I can smell um, oil burning being burnt from the engine bay uh, when I drive with the windows down so I'm actually gonna order valve cover gasket and then we'll do a video on that. You know, someone told me that they replaced it, but it's all G, it's all right. <clears throat> so there's the old spark plugs and um, we'll go put in the new spark plugs. Just remember when you're putting in your spark plugs, don't drop the spark plugs into the cylinders where you can damage the actual tip of the spark plug. 
so it doesn't get crushed on its way down into the cylinder itself and um yeah we'll go ahead and uh place these spark plugs there's a the coils um i did buy spark coils but um i'm not getting any misfiring issues at the moment i do have spark coils just in case because i know how expensive they can get especially being here on guam so um yeah we'll put these new spark plugs in and um yeah So that's basically it to replace your spark plugs. Installation is basically going to be reversed when the ignition coils back. Uh, put the size 10 millimeters that hold the ignition coils on. Connect all the connectors. Place this air box here back on top. Reconnect everything. And then you're basically done. Try not to over tighten the spark plugs as it could get seized in there unless you put some anti seize on like, the thread. But I usually do, once it gets start, starts to get hand tight, I just turn about a quarter of a turn as far as possible without using two hands because that can over torque it and you'll have issues later down the line when you do need to replace your spark plugs once again. So we'll go ahead and um, reinstall everything and we'll change one more thing after this. All right, so that's it for changing the spark plugs on a 2.7 liter four cylinder Tito Tacoma. Uh, I didn't know if you noticed on the video with the LED install that the battery has battery acid. As you can see here, a little bit of build up here. Um, I guess just a little bit. I'm not sure how old this battery is uh, when I got the truck, but I do know that there were a couple times when I did start the truck, it had a hard time cranking. So we're gonna go ahead and test the battery, especially when you see things like this, this battery acid here. This usually is a uh, sign that the battery is leaking from the actual post, which is not good. And eventually over time, you may get stranded somewhere and maybe calling a tow truck or whatever to try to jumpstart your battery or whatnot. Batteries on Guam depending on how often you drive, typically lasts from three years if you're lucky, and also depending on your cold cranking app. So the battery here that I got is 500 CCA, which is, I guess, good enough for this truck. But I did get a new battery, but we're gonna go test the battery and I will see how bad it is or if it's still good. So I picked up this battery tester. This is a brand that I trust. Uh, solar got this on eBay it was pretty pricey for what it is but it does a job and it saves my ass especially with the battery so we're gonna put up we're gonna hook up the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative and then I'll we'll go ahead and move push forward with the test actually haven't tested this battery yet even though it's showing 12.87 volts, we don't know what the CCA is. There we go. And we got 444 CCA. So look, and it's saying that the battery is okay. Even though it says that, I just gonna change it because of the battery acid itself there. So we'll go ahead and change that. So here's the Here's the battery I picked up from Kmart. It's a 600 CCA. As you can see, it's a different um, battery, I guess, size, 24F. The battery that I have right now is a 35 series. But it's a lot more better of a cold cranking amps and it should help with the startups and stuff like that. And I don't have to worry about getting stranded, especially with that. That is a game changer right there. So we'll do that because the clouds they don't look friendly today, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll show you. I guess um, we won't do a hyperlapse for this, as it drives me nuts when I see people take batteries off, and there's no right or wrong way to do it, but there's a safe way to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's 
go turn this mic. Go ahead and loosen the negative. People like to take off the positive right away first. I don't like doing that as I hate getting electrocuted. So I go off with the negative first so that way you completely disable the circuit and you don't get any sparks. As you can see the battery acid is pretty bad. So negative's out, positive's out. Move the battery out of the way. Very hairy because so when I put the battery, put the new battery in, it's always positive in first. And then negative last. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. If you don't have anything to clean the battery cable with, um, soda works, but I have this cleaner that I have this extra so we'll go ahead and clean that off a little bit as best as I can for the rain it's crazy just go ahead and dump some more of this here soda does work so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the positive that's the wrong way Basically it. So my little trick, safety wise, is when removing negative first, positive second. When putting in the battery, positive first, ground or negative after. Because I've gotten shocked many times by battery. I just gotten shocked in general. And um, it drives me crazy when I see people take off the negative. The basically it that's it for this video um, if you'd like to see more DIY stuff on Tacoma or any other kind of vehicles or whatever let me know like comment subscribe and I'll uh, see you next video peace oh,